Now this is the PV100 personal calculator. What this allows you to do um, is actually write, it's quite revolutionary in the sense that it will actually let you write basic, basic programs, basic, basic programs into a pocket size calculator. And it's the first um, of its kind that, that was ever produced. So it's actually revolutionary of a, of a device because it would, it would, everything else was at the time a, a, a big computer. This was actually something that was able to, to, to let you write basic programs and you can carry it in your pocket. So the way I started to, to, to write programs was this because I could afford this calculator. I couldn't afford a big one. This was about 59 quid. So um, you can change the mode um, to write mode. So first of all, what you do is press the shift key. That lights up as the shift key. And then that little blue panel there tells you what the modes are. So one is right. You should then be able to go right. Why didn't it work? Yeah. It's doing wrong mode. Okay, let's try again. Let me try with the mode key. It should be possible. Now to go into, yeah, it is that. It is mode one. So the, the, the screen out that you can see the right thing has come on, the, the, the right thing on, on, on screen says that you are in right mode. And I've accidentally pressed one. I didn't really want to be in, in right mode. What um, one means one in right mode. And then you get one, two, one to 10 different program areas numbered zero one two three and these are the program areas so that's going to go into one i don't really want it I keep doing that but you can change this by pressing the shift key and then one no try again no it was right so now it's changed my program area to zero it's like the memory slots it's got available for writing programs in you can have up to 10 programs all in memory at once and the, the amount of memory it doesn't actually mean the amount of memory, it just means that these are slots that you can use and they're, 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 they're separate programs that you can have, you know, so that you might write one for calculating the you know, pie, you might have another one for a, a simple, say, Space Invader game you want to, to try and write and they're different. So you can have them all going on at once because there wasn't necessarily a tape recorder at the time, so you couldn't save anything. But when you turn the power off, it will remain because it's got a power battery to back it up the battery ram so it that way you could write different programs and keep going with them over time and continue with them later on just go back to the program so this, this is the idea of it so now i'm in zero I'm right in mode i meant program area zero so i press exit i just literally can start writing my program now so this is my first basic program that i'm going to write space 10 because you've got line numbers just like in basic shift and then that should print, yeah, it worked out. I think I was just pressing the wrong key, so let's just say to give you an idea. Print. Have. And this is exactly how it used to work on the PV100. So far, it's been pretty good. This is. Okay, my simple basic program. And XE is like the term. So that's my simple basic program. Now I've simply switched to run mode. Mode key zero point one. It says it's ready. Like it's very similar to Commodore basic, isn't it? It's just like, but you should be able to run it. And so I'm run it that would kind of help things, wouldn't it? So run my program. There you go. That's my first working program. So now we can just easily take a little bit further. I'm just going to do a typical YouTuber and sort of just leave it like I'm really clever here. I'm going to try and get in more into it. So mode one, back into right mode. And here at list should be able to tell you what your program is. And there it is. So that's my single first line. It's taking me to edit and it's showing you the program steps counting down. So that little digital reader tells you how many bytes you have through. So 20. And let's try and give it some intelligence input. But it's very good, isn't it? A lot of it does work. What is your and this it's just like I said, it's, 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 it's a powerful basic program computer. And this is this is quite you know for fifty nine quid. When I was just a teenager and it would just blow my mind. It's just like that. What is your name? Um Right, perhaps I'm, where's the comma? It's working very well. I think you'd have to, I think with 
this one you have to do it as content. Right? It's working very well. So this and this is what really does the job here. Um what is your name? So when you do the input thing, then you're asking the program to ask the the, the user what something and then that that result goes into a dollar what they type in press enter so it's just like you know, your normal this, this is the, the you know normal command driven thing and then next line now you now have an eight dollar some kind of value which presumably the users typed in so you can use that value so you will be able to like go print um, um so now you can be more personal you can go hello See how easy it is, it just, just flows, doesn't it? It's just delete that, um, shift. The delete key goes forward, so when you, when you go like that, actually, when you open the screen, because it's small, it has to display 12 characters. And then it's scroll. So, like, delete there would be, it would delete forward, it doesn't delete backwards, that's one thing. So, and it's also, if it's, it was insert, so if you do the other thing, you would insert a space there, that's the thing that comes up. Sophisticated editing you've got. It's quite sophisticated really for a small display and a tiny little computer. A little bit better. So hello, I'm going to try and use that $8. I'm going to try and not comma because comma is probably not the right one. So I'm going to put in the savvy column. It's, it overwrites by default. So this is just like the pad, comma, or pad. This was before. You can only just overwrite some text. And this is amazing for someone who goes in for a camera. So now I've got that 30 and I can confirm my listing. Just bring it in and it just shows a little snippet of the line, which is very good. It seems to be getting like the award line, you know, really the whole line. That's that again, so that's just to show you everything. But you know what it's supposed to be doing, something like that. You've got so you've got an idea of what you're, you're working on. And it's actually, each time I'm pressing enter to step through it, so that, that, that key. Which is good, it shows you this happened, like, that's good. So, so now I've confirmed my program's work. Well, I've only confirmed my program's working, but it's in the memory. And the, the number of steps has come down, and, 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 the, and the zero has disappeared to tell me that's occupied. It's taken, you know, so don't go in there. Yes, someone's using my area code. So that tells me I've got programs. So now I'm going to go back to run mode. Which is zero. Now I'm in run. It does run. So I'm pretty sure this will be pretty successful. First of all, hello. Right, um, because there's only one line on the display, and um, when you put print like that, then it will say stop, meaning the program has to wait for you to say to, to tell the, the, the system to carry on because there's not enough space to display all the information. So you have to tell it, I've finished looking at the information, and you do that by pressing exit. So then it does the next line, which is, what's your name? Look at that, isn't that incredible? And it's displays your name, what's your name? So now you know because there's a question mark from the input. So, so I'm gonna put mine in this part of, as in AB100, you know, capital AB100. Yeah, so actually, Next line it will be I enter my number twenty, enter my data, enter eight dollar and it does my number. Hello, how about so it's use my input in eight dollar data. This is all going on in, in my You're going to use the Microsoft Basic when you use all that. I'm going to use new. Every basic is slightly different, but basic it is, nevertheless. You know. Right. So then, when, when you want to say that we want to have like a spacing where this kind of the game here, obviously, you know, we want some kind of control of a little man. So, um, what what we're going to do is um, we're going to initialize the variable called A, and, and we're going to call that. The, 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 the position that the man is in so it's we're going to be in 1 to 0 1 to 12 it starts at 0 a equals 0 right, that's my first line so that's the position of the man it's very good it's, 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 it's hardly so anyway 10 equals so you've got this is your man this could be a football game in fact so your, your man is there I mean I'm going to make the memory of the computer remember 
zero is the position of the man, so I'm starting with zero. So now, obviously, I want to be able to display my man on the, on the screen. Right, so you get to see, see if the check this works. And it's a command that I remember that you used to position the cursor just like you can um, in, 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 in other languages. This is actually quite more powerful than PEP. Uh, almost, well, almost. It's getting onto a level of PEP now. But there's only 12, long, 12 characters, that's the other problem. So I'm going to go print CSR A. CSR means position the cursor, and the next thing that I'm going to give you is where you want to position the cursor. So A is the value that I want to use, which is I set to A to zero. So now semicolon to tell it what the next bit I would like you to take into this print statement. Okay, I think I've um, pressed return by accident there. Let's try it. Let's bring that to get that back. So let's scroll through my text here. It's very simple. CSRA, I'm going to put. Um, I'm going to put X to begin with, just just to, just just because. And later on, you could put like a little colorful man or whatever, but it's not got color. But I can move those little characters you can use for man. I think I'm going to just skip on that one for now. I'll just keep it like that. Okay, let's let's keep it like that. So I use the A, which is the zero, to to, to, to try and offset where I want that that um, that 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 printing. Now when I go back to, I'm gonna try running it. Understood, isn't it? Let's put it in characters and just to prove it works. I did get something. How did I get, I get something there anyway? I did get, I did, I get a symbol. But I'm going to just try it. See what revolutionary this is. CSI. Now I've changed that position to one. Let's get this shit on the screen. One to two. From CSR, which is using as the value is now two longer cubes. This should actually also be X, but yeah, nice. Okay, so now what I can do is add uh, some time on there and it will not display stop. It will just end the program at that point. And make it now let's make it even more entertaining by having a, a go to step and so I'm gonna have like my first program loop my game. So time so I'm just gonna have to go back to the first bit. Simple. So it's just gonna display uh, like a man. interesting because now you can do make, make a modification this is this is what i'm trying to show here and i'm cutting out all the powerful thing i'm going to take you move the keyboard if i've got to do this this is how simple it is if if that key that i just read three dollar equals let's say six and i've got a nice friendly control so Or can you just go to a line and watch your it might be a gun. Let's try it. A equals A plus one. Okay. 
just had them like four and six of it left and right. Find a manual from one. Yeah. There you go. Now it's reading the key with key string. That is as simple as that. So now that is now allowing me to press six. You can see I can move my mouse up and down. Simple, isn't it? That, that's the basics of the game. Yeah. Just with the basics of the game. So, what you then got? Because I'm just writing it over the same character, it's not erasing it. So, it looks like I'm just kind of drawing a line up the back. That's not really what's done. This is really drawing a line time, but it's not really looking like a man because it's just leaving the previous man where I previously wrote it. On that, on that, on that column, it's not need to do it. It's, 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 it's try to. Well, this is where it gets a bit tricky because you've got to use some kind of way of erasing it. And so. This is a simple way to erase it, just put a space before and space afterwards. This isn't very sophisticated, is it? You know? So, you know, what you need to do is, is just kind of not waste the space before and afterwards, so it's wasting the whole space when you've only got 12 spaces. It's, it's, it's not really very good. Man. But now that will actually display. You see, there's a space before it, isn't there? So, again, it understands how clever is that. So, now when I move it, Obviously, you know, there you go. I've already got off your paper. Right, well, what that's done is it's gone out of the range. So it's, but but they, they, that was basically from there. You know, you can, you can sort of add more things that you can hopefully do. Yeah. 